What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which helps service professionals like doctors, lawyers, accountants, coaches, stop just trading time for dollars and shift from one-to-one client work to -to one-to-many work. It's an exclusive group coaching program for professional service entrepreneurs who want to scale up. Go to rise25.com. There is a downloadable free dream product ladder that helps you map out your business on one sheet of paper and realize untapped revenue potential. Companies like Starbucks and Disney have an amazing product ladder, and you can also. I am very excited. Today we have Randy Brill. She's founder of Cora Core and Teacher Peach. Cora Core is a full service creative agency that helps companies dream up the right products, solutions, and strategies. And we will talk about how they do that in their special lab. In 2012, she started her own e commerce company, TeacherPeach.com. The part time experiment is now a top seller of teacher gift totes and classroom products on Amazon. And I think they sell tons of stress balls too. She's well, the, is everybody stressed? Exactly. <laughs> She's the author of, check it out, 99 Creative Wows, Words of Wisdom for Business. Randy, thanks for joining me. Well, thanks for having me. What's been the lowest moment business-wise and what's been the proudest moment business-wise? The lowest moment was, and I, I can see it very, very clearly, I had initially, I had to learn to trust the hard way. Because I was so trusting. I had a I had a partner at one point, didn't go well, and I should have said this isn't working long before I did. And it became one of the most painful and challenging exits for each of us. And this was a, an incredible partnership during the years that it was. And it was a great loss to me personally, and I had to figure out two things. Number one, that I had to learn to trust people differently. And I had to learn to verify differently without thinking I had to climb on the ladder to look on the roof. And I had to trust myself. Mm, Your intuition. Well, when you're the creative entrepreneur and you're the rainmaker, there are a lot of people that surround you that are going to manage you. You know, Frank Sinatra, they used to say to me, Frank never booked his own stage bookings. Well, very good. But somebody told Frank where to go, and Frank said yes or no, and he had to do the singing. Now, of course, if I told that today, I'd have to use somebody like Lady Gaga for anyone to know what he's talking about. But the key is you each have different roles. But when you're surrounded by people who sometimes used to tell me how much I needed them and couldn't do without them, and I was young, I was really young. And there weren't a lot of 25-year-old entrepreneurs when I was a girl. I mean, today, if you're 20, you're old. But then, that was really gutsy. I had no money. I had no anything. And I had a typewriter that didn't typos. And it was really a typewriter. I'm dating myself here. But, But the point is, you look at that situation and you begin to doubt. Oh, my gosh, I really do need somebody else. I really do. Do I know something? There's a balance. Because that was the pivot. I went from depending so greatly, getting so deeply burned, trusting no one, and now I feel like I got it. Go big or go away is about bringing other confident, trusted experts and getting out of their way. Doing my thing, them doing theirs, and empowering with resources, energy, creativity, money, You know, I'm very happy to be my chief VC. You know, I like the ability to say, you know what? It may not make sense today, but we're growing our way into a new challenge. I'm writing this check. I will write a check to invest in any aspect of this. I don't waste money, though. But the key for me was that was the lowest low. But it's turned out to guide me to the highest high. 
I am doing better work today. I am doing more creative work today. And I'm working with incredibly motivated and inspired people both inside and outside of the organization or our client list. People want to come and color with us. That's fun and exciting. I see a teacher in the airport going into the ladies' room with one of my tote bags, slinging over her shoulder, dragging two kids, and that's kind of like, uh, I made that tote bag. <laughs> look, up there, look. And you grab your daughter's attention. There, look, look. It's cool. It, you know your stuff is out in the world. So the lowest was learning some lessons. I never learned to learn lessons the easy way. That just didn't work any more than doing it small worked. So you make big mistakes with confidence that you can fix them. So that's really, that's the powerful high. And knowing that you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. So there you have it. So you want to see my toys? You want to yes. see what's around me? This is my little studio. This is like my little hub. Yeah, so describe and it because, you know, people may be listening to the audio uh, if they're not watching the video. So. Okay. What uh? What do you have behind you? Um, what do I have behind? Well, mm -hmm. this is my prized possession of all, which are my ruby slippers. Now, everybody, you have to be willing to put on your client's shoes. If I can't walk in your shoes as my client, I'm not going to be able to help you. Nobody's going to get anywhere. That's actually one of the wows. So I always, now granted these are lovely platforms. They are my size. I don't wear them often, but sometimes for effect. You have to be willing to put on the shoes. I need, I'm a visual person, I need the reminders. People like to say, what is all this stuff in your space? Because as a creative, you, you get inspired by it. My other shoes, which are equally important, and these are not my size, they're my clown shoes. You have to be able to clown and entertain. So I always keep these here. Usually they have M&Ms in them and they have uh, bullseye candy in them, but today they're, somebody's been in here. But anyway, um, the crayons, these crayons are actual real crayons. Mm -hmm. I found, again, I don't do small. So there are my crayons. I have supplies, these ladies behind me, very strong, iconic women who all did it their own way. And I found these at a Brandeis book sale on clearance in a bin. And I saved them for a long time and discovered them when I sold the building. And I went, oh, my old life magazines that I bought for a nickel. And I put, I decided between Sophia Lauren, Grace Kelly, Julie Andrews, and then another Sophia Lauren, because you can't have too many. Um, it was powerful. On the other side, you can't see, but Barbara Streisand is over there. Um, NCIS, one of my favorite shows. There's a big giant cutout. Do you want to see him? Big giant cutout of Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Here, sit down, Jethro. He's in my office. <laughs> if I am away, NCIS is in charge. And what I love about this is in 42 minutes, they solve a problem, no commercials, and I am confident. He's on in the middle of the night with me. So the entire NCIS team is is here and when I go away Jethro stands at the desk and everybody knows somebody's watching so it's it's a silly busy little place this is the three-year-old who wrote her first order mm. so I don't think it's sepia because it's just it was toned that way so this is my playpen so I hope this was interesting to you and to your listeners um, Creativity is everywhere, and you, you, if you, it's inside everybody. Sometimes they just need somebody to coax it out. So, Randy, I want to be the first one to thank you. Where you, should we point people towards? Um, you can go to coracore.com, which is Q-U-A-R-A-C-O-R-E.com. You can go That's to right. teacherpeach.com, and you can check out 99 Creative Wows on Amazon. You can get a Kindle. And go and to 99creativewiles.com for blogs, etc. Okay, there. awesome. Anywhere else we should point people towards or is you that know, The one thing I will say is if you go to coracore.com, and this is kind of for people like you and me who do worry in the middle of the night about, oh, I've got to solve this. You can click on any screen and it'll take you to a box that you can get to me with a message about whatever your challenge is for the lab. Hmm any time of the day or night. So you don't have to say, oh, that was interesting. I'll send an email and wonder if anyone will get back to me. Trust me, we'll respond. All right. Okay. Check out coracore.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Randy.
Take care. Bye bye. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand.